Romeo and Juliet both live in Verona, Italy. Juliet, a younger girl of 14, is a member of the Capulet family, who are lifelong enemies of Romeo's family, the Montagues. They meet at a masked ball at Juliet's house and fall in love at first sight. Later that night, Romeo climbs over the wall that surrounds the house and places himself in the orchard to be near his newly found love. While he is there, Juliet comes out onto the balcony and starts speaking of her love for Romeo, an enemy of the family. At first, she's not aware of him, but Romeo soon lets Juliet know he is there. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name, or if thou will not be but thrice sworn my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Shall I hear more? I speak at this. this but that name that is my enemy. The Lord must help is not a Montague. Montague, it's nor hand, nor foot, nor arm, nor face, or nor part belonging to a man. Oh, be some other name. What's in a name? That which we call a rose. Another name would smell as sweet. So Romeo would wear enough Romeo could call. That dear perfection which she owes. Without that title, Romeo doth thy name, and for thy name, which is no part of that, take all myself. Afare. Take thee at thy word. Call me but love, and I'll be the new Baptist thee. Henceforth to never be wrong now. Also, that does be screen in night, so stumbles on my counsel. Oh, to tell thee who I am. <laughs> Dear Saint. A hateful grease. This an enemy. <laughs> Had I it written, I would tear to you. It's not drunk a hundred words of that tongue's utterance. Yes, I know the sound of though not Romeo and a Montague. Fair mate. If either the dislike. How canst thou, Hitler, tell me and wherefore? The orchard walls are high and hard to find, and the place left considering who go on, if any of my kinsmen find the there. Light winds, did I et perish these walls? For stony limits cannot hold love out. For what can love do that dares love attempt? Therefore, thy kinsmen are no stop to me. Thee see thee, they will murder thee. There lies more peril than thine eye. Twenty, twenty of their swords look to but sweet, and I am proof against their enmity. Not for the world, so see here. Night's nice cloak to hide me from their eyes. But to love me, let me find me here. My life were better ended by their hate than death prorogued, wanting thy love. They go all talking about their love to each other, and very soon they decide to get married in secret the next day. 